Governor Asa Hutchinson's statewide mask mandate begins today. Some Northwest Arkansas cities have chosen not to follow it. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chelsea Helms. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. KNWA is Claire Suspante in Sulphur Springs tonight and tells us about the small town's position and why one local business has decided to follow its own rules. Here in the town of Sulphur Springs, it's pretty quiet. But the mayor has been pretty vocal about how he feels on requiring masks. My officers, any officer anywhere, I think has a, a bigger job to do than to go around and babysit somebody whether they're wearing a mask or not. That's what Mayor Shane Weber said in early July when it was up to individual cities to pass mask ordinances. Now that Arkansas has a statewide mask mandate, he says his position hasn't changed and there will be no penalty or fines issued for not wearing a mask in the city. This is local business owner Shirley Barber. She says if the police department won't enforce mask wearing, she will. I always uh, try to support our mayor especially, but we're choosing for ourselves, for our business, that we are requiring them. Barbara says on a normal day, her auction house in Sulphur Springs is filled with hundreds of people. If we have a large auction, we double the population. But with the number of COVID-19 cases rising in Arkansas, she isn't taking any chances. We don't let anybody in the auction house. If they need to come in, then they have to have a mask on. With the nature of her business, Barbara says she's had to get creative in getting these unique items into the hands of the community. Everything stays outside. They come and pay at the window outside, and we bring it to them. While masking up is taking a step in the right direction, Barbara says she won't be changing the way she does things anytime soon. Until the governor says 250 people with no social distancing, I think we're going to be this way for a long time. And Sulphur Springs, Clarice Bustamante, KWA Northwest Arkansas News.